Hey, you. Yeah, you that clicked on a Honey Bunny video. You should totally subscribe and hit that bell button to ring my magical fairy to bring you some magical cookies that are filled with rainbows, flowers, and happiness. A.K.A. you get notified when I upload. Well, did you do it yet? Arigato. Enjoy the video. Wasn't it so cool how he did that with his bare hands? I especially like the part where he breathes fire! Just like a dragon. It's amazing. You know Eldritch Academy's mascot is the dragon, right? Fire wizards get to use the fire breathing spell to start off the broom racing games. Hey, Jasper! What you reading? History of the school. Sounds not lit. <laughs> if I want to be head wizard, the history of Eldridge Academy should be ingrained into my brain. Head wizard? Top of the class, valedictorian. You get to wear a special badge. Sounds geeky. It is not geeky. It's the biggest honor of any wizard or witch. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna have to beat ya. Not with your aloof attitude, you won't. You'll be surprised. I'd actually love to hear the history of Eldridge Academy. Maybe there are some good spooky stories. Ooh, spooky stories? We can go ghost hunting. Sounds lit. History is purely educational. Oh, come on, party pooper. We can go to the campfire grounds and tell spooky educational ghost stories. Ugh, this is ridiculous. Will we get in trouble for a fire out here? <laughs> nah. These campgrounds are built for fire wizards. The magic has depleted those, so you can't do much more than a little spark. It's kind of boring, we can only use our magic in class. It makes sense though, like Professor Kindle said. Fire can be beautiful, but it's also destructive. We don't want to pay the consequences of uncontrolled fire. That's why everyone sees us as villains, right? Because we are potentially dangerous? Yeah, pretty much. There actually has been some incidents in the past. Professor Alfheim was burned by a moody fire wizard who couldn't contain his temper. <gasps> that explains his scar. And his mood. <laughs> Earth wizards say he was moody before, but now he's ruthless. Well, Earth wizards definitely have a reason to hate us. What's the deal with water wizards? Isn't it obvious? We are fire. They are water. We are sworn enemies. But water can put out the fire. More reason for us to be friends. A lot of what the water class is all about is pride in their intelligence and associating with someone who doesn't follow their standards won't qualify for friendship. I invited Scarlet to the campfire, but she didn't want to come. Probably because her water friends are telling her not to be around you. We are childhood friends, though. Well, if you are truly good friends, then don't let the difference bother you. True. Nothing will get in the way of our friendship. That's the spirit! Now let's talk scary stories! I'll pass. Come on, Jazzy! Don't call me that. Missing? Shh! What's that? That couldn't have been a student, could it? No! Not this hour! 
Unless you want to get expelled! That was close, or we would have been Alfheim's dinner! A missing student? What do we do? There's nothing we can do. We shouldn't say anything, though. We aren't even supposed to be awake right now. So we're just gonna keep something as big as this? We don't even know if that's what they were talking about. I'll investigate. How? Uh, my mom, of course. Your, Your mom? mom? Yeah, she works in the school. Oh, is that weird? Yeah, I try to avoid her at all costs, but if this is some sort of conspiracy, I'm all in. We really shouldn't meddle in this type of thing. We could get in huge trouble. Uh, you're no funny, my boy. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'm hitting the sack. Night. Night, Kiara. So, guess I'll head off to bed too. Keep an eye on Kiara for me. If she's not too careful, she could be kicked out of the school. Aw, you act cranky, but you actually worry about her. It's... I... If any of us get caught, it'll be bad. Right, I'll look out for her. I don't want to be expelled. Good night, Jasper. Hmm, Jasper has a sweet spot. You're back late. Scar, you should have come with us. We had so much fun. That's okay. I'm still not feeling well. Should we go to the nurse's office? No, no. It's not that serious. I think I'll be over it tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Night. Kiara, what's wrong? Can we talk outside? Alone? Sure. Want to get lunch at 12.15? Um, maybe. I might be studying. Those water witches, I'll tell ya. She's not feeling well. Whatever. Anyways, what happened? Oh, yeah, so, you know how we heard Professor Marty and Professor Elheim talking last night? Well, they were right. A student went missing. Wait, no way. Yeah, an Earth student too. Apparently she never came to afternoon classes and her roommate was concerned when she wasn't at dinner. They still haven't found her yet. Oh my god, what could have happened? I don't know, but the teachers are trying to be very hush-hush about it. How did you get this all out of your mom? I actually eavesdropped on her call with someone. They're gonna inform her parents, but remove the roommate's memories. Can they do that? Guess so. That's scary. Sure is. Hey, let's start getting to class before we end up having to wear hats of shame. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. I'm so hyped for a magical creatures class! <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of fun. Welcome, students. Today we are going to say hi to some of the most important creatures of our world. We've got pixies, hippogriffs, stymphalian birds, and... Baby dragons. 
Professor Kindle! Professor Kindle has brought us here a red baby dragon. He is almost stage two, isn't he, Kindle? He has not yet learned to fly, but he is just starting to spark fire. Professor, isn't that very dangerous to have a dragon at the school? On the contrary. The better we study dragons, the less dangerous they are to us. Dragons are ruthless killers. Dragons are protectors. He's right. Did you know that the word dragon comes from the Greek word drakonta, which means to watch? The Greeks saw dragons as beasts that guarded valuable items. In fact, many cultures depict dragons as hoarding treasure. Very good, Candace. Wow. <clears throat> All right, lover boy. If you befriend a dragon, they can become a great defender and companion. Right now, though, he's just learning his way around the world. Does he have a name, Professor? Not at the moment, no. We should name him Demon. <laughs> just a joke. Chill. I don't chill. Professor, this fire witch is threatening me. Kiara, see me in my office after class. Ooh. Why don't we name him Tiny? Tiny won't be tiny for long. I like Tiny. Personally, I think Tiny's a good name too. Yeah, uh, Tiny is uh, cute. Yay, Scarlet likes my name idea. It's an unusual name for a dragon, but we can call him Tiny. Aw, he's so cute. I heard Maggie was put in the fire class. Yeah, I'm so worried. Bright, she... her magic was mainly fire. When she was younger, she couldn't control it and... Things happened. People got hurt. Everyone was scared of her and she was scared of herself. I don't want that to be Maggie. Maybe you can contact Bright? I've thought about that, but we left off in such a bad state, I didn't think... Well, it doesn't hurt to try, right? I'm sure things have died down by now and she would love to hear from you, just like you would love to hear from her. Okay, you know what? I'll do it. I think that it's best to mend your relationship. <laughs> <laughs>